Hey guys. So, uh, so much has happened since my last video. Um, has anybody else noticed that I keep ending up with less and less makeup? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so I went to the Academy. It was, um, it was a little bit of a jog from my house, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, basically, it was four days of learning book stuff. Um, learning about the mail, about what to do with which mail, um, what to do with the mail you can't deliver during the day, um, things like that. You practice casing, which is when you get to the office, you put mail away in order so you can pull all the mail down in order so you can deliver it in order. So it was really nice to have that chance to, to really case and um, uh, learn how that process goes because you see it and you kind of get like nervous about it because a lot of people talk about how much they hate casing but casing's not that bad as long as you can once you have your own route casing is super easy but whenever you're new and you're new to the route then casing is hard because you have to learn each case you know um my particular uh office has 63 routes um i hope that they try to keep us with the same uh few maybe um, instead of introducing us to new routes all the time, but, um, but at first we're not going to be casing our own mail anyways, but yeah, so at the Academy, it was good. We got to, um, case mail. Um, we went out and we set up mailboxes in like this big church parking lot and, um, we like fingered mail. So like we had a stack of mail, the mailboxes have numbers on them and you just go through the mail, stick them in the box, go through the mail, stick them in the box, pick up the mail that goes out. And then we had like a certified package. Um, you practice the scanner, you learn the scanner in the academy. We also drew the LLV and drew. We also drove the LLV um, in the parking lot and delivered mail the same way. But yeah, I mean, it was good. Our, our trainer, he was super nice. Uh, this was the time that we got to talk to our union person and uh, learned a few things about overtime, getting paid after six o'clock, you get paid more if you work past six o'clock p.m. You get paid more if you work before six o'clock a.m. Not at Christmas time. Christmas time, that doesn't, you don't get that. I didn't get as many tops as I would have liked to gotten. This is definitely my favorite. It's the shirt jacket because it has pockets, it's loose, and uh, it's just, it's lighter. I feel like I have, I, I did I did find some polos in my size, but they're, I feel like they're warmer. They're just a different kind of material. I don't know. They kind of stick to me more. I don't know. Anyway, so I got some uniforms. Um, I got this sparkly hat from Amazon, I think, because it's got a hole in the top so I can put my hair up in a, in a ponytail instead of, um, I have a post office hat that I either got off eBay or Amazon, which, um, whatever I got off Amazon, I'll put a link in the, um, in the description if you guys want to check it out. I did get these sunglasses from Amazon. They're Oakley's, but they're golf sunglasses and they're, you can't, like, they reflect a little bit, but they're not, I want them to be able to see my eyes, so when you talk to people, it's not weird. I, I don't like, like, my husband has Oakley's, where if you're talking to him and you're looking at his eyes, you see yourself, so it's just weird, but, um, I got some that see through. I mean, the Academy was super easy. Pay attention, take notes. Actually, I have something to show you. So since then, I did the academy. I finished my um, on-the-job training, which was three days. I'm gonna show you something. I'm in my driveway, by the way, if you are curious. There's my car. When you go to um, your academy at the end of the week, they're gonna give you one of these. This is your, <clears throat> I just dropped it. <laughs> you give that to your person that does your on-the-job training and um, you guys fill that out. We did not go over half of the stuff on there that you have to initial that you did, which kind of sucks because I'm like, well, that doesn't feel fair to me, you know? Uh, <clears throat> so I didn't get a new bag yet, but you will get a new bag. So here's your what your satchel looks like. Mine's like old and used. But, um, oh, here's my speaker. 
I told you guys that um, I play music while I walk around and it hangs on um, to my bag and you can listen to music that way instead of uh, using earbuds because you're not allowed to use earbuds. If you guys get caught with earbuds within the first 90 days, they can fire you because they tell you don't do that. But the reason that, um, oh, here's the dog spray. So the reason that they don't want you to use earbuds is so that you can hear dogs, cars, people holler at you because sometimes you may miss deliver or something and people will be like, hey, come back or whatever. So um, I, I got this uh, index cards and um, I put on the back my number, which I'm covering up. And this is how they do time. So like 15 minutes is uh, 0.25. That's easy, but like whenever you get to like eight minutes, it's 0.13. Anyway, um, I took that from my training. I cut it and then I, th that's actually the back of like a, uh, a manual time entry card. And I just taped it to the back of that. Okay, so in this book, I wrote like how to do the time card or how to clock in. So you clock in, begin time office and your route. And then whenever you uh, move to the street, you have to clock in again. And then when you get back, you have to clock back to the office. And then whenever you leave, you clock out. So I wrote all that down just because I didn't want to forget. And then um, I wrote down about MSPs. And then this is just kind of um, this pink here. <clears throat> There's three pages of basically like step-by-step step what to do just because I just didn't want to forget a step And I figured I just have that until I'm just used to it. Um, I oops. I'm trying to This is hard to do with one hand man. I Wrote down like the what you can write on the mail like what's wrong with the mail so that you know how to sort it when you get back and the reason I showed that to you is because your office should be able to give you a cardboard thing this was cardboard and my husband decorated it. So, um, so basically you put this in your mail truck and um, whenever you can't deliver something or like you have an accountable you have to bring back to the office, then um, you can put it all in here and it's kind of already sorted. So it just makes it faster. I also have like a little notepad. I've got like an example of how to fill these out. I. I just have a bunch of example stuff. I actually have, um, I'm gonna put some extra forms in there. Like there's certain forms that you need to have. Um, I wrote all that shit down here too, pardon my French. <laughs> anyway, I keep my, that little notepad, I keep that in here. So get one, you have to ask for it apparently, but you have to like put it together. And then I've got like my go bag because whenever you're a CCA, you have to carry everything on you. You don't have your own case, um, like your own desk where you can keep all your stuff. So I have in my go bag, I've got sunscreen, I've got Tylenol, chapstick with sunscreen. I've got these little gloves. I've got phone chargers. Um, the union guy gave us this. This is how to keep track of your hours that you work. Um, so I've been writing all of that down. Extra ink pens. Um, I have a hat that covers up my ears if my ears start to get sunburned. I put my knee braces in there just because while I'm not the skinniest person right now, my knees do hurt, especially since um, since my on-the-job training, I've been walking uh, between 25 and 30,000 steps a day, which <laughs> for me, 2,000 steps is one mile, so like 15 miles. I have a first aid kit, rain jacket. I went, um, I went to Royal King and I got this cheap um, Frog Togs rain gear stuff just because I can't um, go out and buy the post office stuff right now because I can't. I have an extra pair of socks. They said to get an extra pair of shoes and socks to put in your go bag because then you, um, if it rains in the morning and then you don't want to keep wet feet, right? Deodorant. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, I've got my, my book because if I have any questions, I can go to this, which I tabbed off for important stuff like what to do with certain things just in case I forget because they they throw so much at you oh I've got my back brace just in case my back actually isn't the problem the problem is my feet and I never have problem with my feet but um the problem is uh I have blisters like I have four blisters on each foot I have um I have one on the outsides of my big toe between my big toe and like my index finger toe. I don't know what my toes are called. 
so like right in between there like at where you step but up in between them um i have um a blister um on by my pinky toe and on the outside of my pinky toe so the next time i get shoes i think i'm going to try and get wides just because maybe they'll be better i'm not sure but um i did manage to grab two of these order forms for um uniforms these were just at the office and um one is i'll just show them to you i don't know if it's backwards in the video but um but it's uniforms and you can find a lot of places that sell uniforms online really and you can go ahead and order stuff but once you get past your 90 working days or 120 calendar days um they'll give you money to help but still uh you have to order from the catalogs to use your money you can't get it off ebay for cheaper um but you can still get stuff off ebay so yeah yeah that's it um walk walking a lot a lot of walking and um yesterday was my first day all by myself so on the job training my trainer basically um he the first day did most of it and i helped and then he was more in depth in training than he was on shadow day then the second day we kind of did half and half and then the third day i did it mostly by myself the only thing i didn't do was one street the only thing that gets confusing to me is how to know your splits which means like how much mail to grab to take walk around and bring back um but so yesterday um was my first day on my own they um rubber banded the splits so that made it way easier because i was able to just grab what I needed and then you basically just park outside of your first address and then the mail will bring you back to your car that's pretty much how to do it um, so it's not like super hard but I love spring the trees are so pretty I love spring but yeah I mean I guess that's it oh yesterday I was on my own and um, I did a short um, so like I guess there's a guy in the office that has a route that he's never able to finish so um basically they just gave me the tail end of that i had probably seven parcels which are like the bigger boxes bigger than a shoe box um and then uh <clears throat> oh i've been sick the last two weeks i've been really sick so that sucks too i'm uh, coming uh, coming out of it now but so um and then he i pretty much had four stopping points and then I had two splits off each stopping point so it didn't really take that long it only took a couple hours and then um and then I came back to the office dropped off all my stuff and then they had me go out and help a newer CCA like not newer than me but he's he got hired um he started a month before me <laughs> so he's just a little ahead of me and um so i went and helped him at the end of his route because he's got a hold down on this route it doesn't suck listen i love this job if i get um ever get fired for this job like if i get injured or do something wrong i will literally be heartbroken like i feel so much better doing this job moving around being outside even when it's been cold and rainy it just it doesn't feel like a job to me to me it's like i don't know i just really i like it um get a rubber ring if you're married get a rubber ring for real especially if you're a girl and you've got like diamonds because um well number one uh it's in the way <clears throat> it'll get in the way plus your hands are so black and gross by the end of the day but also um you don't want to lose it uh, also, if it's um, a, a decent sized ring, you don't want it to get stolen or somebody to like come and get you. My friend, um, my friend was like, um, "Don't you miss talking to people?" Because uh, I told her I'm out by myself most of the day, but I don't. <laughs> I do I don't miss talking to people in the office. I just don't. Uh, does that make me bad person? No, I don't think so. It's just when you're. Like there's certain people at my last office that I loved to pieces and I loved talking to, but there's so much crap that goes on and there's crap that goes on at the post office too. I just spit. There's crap that goes on at the post office too, but you aren't around it all day. You know, you're out doing your thing. You, you're only around it in the morning and in the evening when you get back, you're not all in it all day long. You know what I mean? So it's totally different, but you see your customers. I, 
I see so many people walking their dogs and stuff. I have been delivering in kind of rough neighborhoods, um, but um, you know, just be friendly. You have to be a friendly person to be at the post office. I mean, I guess you could be a jerk, but like, I don't know, it's just easier to be nice. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys are just starting out, I have been uh, recording and sharing videos of um, my journey. And if you guys have any questions, if I know the answers, I will absolutely try to help. There's some people that have seen my videos that are more seasoned and they know more what they're talking about. So I've seen that they're um, sometimes in my comments too, which is good. I welcome that, thank you. If I misspeak on something or something's different in your office, comment it down below too and yeah i'm gonna continue my journey i hope you guys are uh doing well on your journey and uh yeah i don't know what else to say i'm tired and my feet hurt <laughs> but we're gonna get used to it and i've oh i've lost eight pounds uh without trying just because i've been walking so freaking much and not sitting on my butt all day i'm pretty excited about that and um, once I start losing a lot of weight, I'll probably do a video for that. But right now I still have a lot to lose and I'm excited. I feel good, like my body hurts, but I feel good. Like I'm proud of, like Saturday I walked 30,000 steps. That's a lot of steps. That's when I got most of my blisters, by the way, if you were wondering. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Um, don't be scared to comment down below. Hit a like if you like my video and uh, subscribe. If you guys have made it this far in this video, just go ahead and subscribe, do it, do it. I'm really nice. It doesn't hurt you and it helps me a lot. So uh, definitely do that. Excuse the no makeup. It's just kind of pointless to wear makeup. Um, I tried to, um, I, I tried to wear some makeup and then like it just, I would wear less and then less and then less cause I'm just sweating it all off anyway. So I might as well just go and be insecure and no makeup at all. But, um, but yeah, I guess that's that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.